Shore Sports Network from sfmsports.net. Our broadcast begins in three minutes. the Shore Sports Network from sfmsports.net. Our broadcast begins in two minutes.
This is the Shore Sports Network from sfmsports.net. Our broadcast begins in one minute. This is the Shore Sports Network from sfmsports.net. Our broadcast begins in 30 seconds. This is the Shore Sports Network from sfmsports.net. Our broadcast begins in 10 seconds. And SFMSports.net welcomes you to this presentation of now Maryland Eastern Shore basketball from SFMSports.net. At the William P. Heitch Athletic Center in Princess Anne, Maryland, it's time for Maryland Eastern Shore with men's basketball. Tonight, the Hawks take on the act. A&T State University, and we've got all the action for you on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. Hello, everybody. Will DeBoer with you courtside once again from the Eastern Shore. Game two of our Monday night twin bill at the Heights. The women's game went right down the wire with the Lady Aggies squeaking out a 51-49 to win over Fred Batchelor and the Hawks as the first conference loss of the season for Coach Batchelor's crew. Cliff Reed and company for the Hawk men looking for their first MEAC win. They're 0-3 in conference so far. They're 2-16 overall and lost on Saturday 61-48 to North Carolina Central. The Eagles pulled away late in the first half, take a 36-24 lead and the Hawks did just hold North Carolina Central with 25 points in the second half but they only scored 24 points themselves. Shot 34% from the game and fell short. Tyler Jones had 13 points to lead the way for the Hawks. Brian and Rudy with his second 10 assist game of the season. The Aggies, meanwhile, coming in at 7 and 9, 2 and 0 in league play, tied for second in conference. The Aggies dropped an air raid on Delaware State on Saturday, 93 to 70. The Aggies. 67% in the first half and 60% in the second half. 63% for the game, 36 of 57. Essentially had no chance. Terry Harris is the leader of the pack with 25 points, including 7 of 11 from long range. While Kua Copeland had 22 points for the Aggies. They also assisted on 20 of their 36 buckets. Langley, uh, it was a Cameron Langley, had 10 assists to go along with it. The Aggies riding high after their big win over Delaware State. The Hawks trying to seize some momentum and arise from the doldrums, try and win a Division I game for the first time in their last 17 contests. It's the end of a three-game homestand for the Hawks. They'll hit the road for Florida on uh, Saturday. They'll hit the road a little earlier to play Florida A&M Saturday, but they'll put them on Monday. We'll take a commercial break. When we come back, break down the final stats from the women's game. Then we'll have the starting lineup, send the opening tip on the short support. The Courtyard by Marriott on Route 13 in Salisbury offers comfortable rooms and meeting spaces, as well as always superior customer service in a great location near the mall. Call 10-742-4405 and ask for details about their special Maryland Eastern Shore partner rates. The Courtyard by Marriott in Salisbury, an official partner of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. And proud to bring you this broadcast of Hawks Basketball on sfmsports.net. Here's you covered from physicals to flu shots, pediatrics to pneumonia, strep throat to stitches, whether you're on vacation or on your way to work. 
They accept most insurance and offer affordable self-pay options. Use Clockwise Online. Call or just stop by. Your Docs Inn has been named the best urgent care for four years in a row. Your Docs Inn Urgent Care with six convenient locations to serve you on Maryland's Eastern Shore, whether you live here or you're just traveling through. Signs by Tomorrow is proud to be one of the founding companies of the one-day sign industry. Our services include banners, trade show displays, window and vehicle lettering, decals, name tags, logo reproduction, and real estate signs. We offer free estimates, design proposals, and on-site consultations. One-day service is available. Let us show you what we can do for you. Signs by Tomorrow. Call 410-860-0033 or visit signsbytomorrow.com. Hawks fans, for over a century, Delmarva Power has provided safe, reliable energy throughout the region. That's a powerful connection you can count on from here at the shore to throughout Maryland and Delaware. To learn more, visit delmarva.com or call 1-800-375-7117. Delmarva Power, sponsor of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from sfmsports.net. We're back on the Shore pregame show. Hawks and the Aggies getting ready to tip off in just a few minutes. First two meetings between the two sides this year. Eastern Shore will visit Greensboro, the Corbett Sports Center, on Monday, February 11th. Last year, the Aggies swept this series, winning in Princess Anne by a slim 66-64 margin and winning more convincingly in Greensboro, 78-69, to cap a perfect season at home for the Aggies as part of their 17-game turnaround from a three-win team two years ago to a 20-win team last year. The Hawks, of course, swept this series two years ago, winning in Greensboro, winning in the MEAC tournament, most significantly winning in a triple overtime thriller on this floor, February 20th, I believe was the date, 106 to 95, the longest game any of us have ever seen. The Hawks came away victorious. Fred Patrick on the Eastern Shore Hawk women's basketball team fell short 51 to 49 at the hands of the Lady Aggies earlier tonight. Siani Byram scored her thousandth career point for the Hawks with 13. She's now at 1K on the dot. Congratulations to her. It was her final shot with five seconds to go that uh, didn't go for Eastern Shore. She was triple teamed and somebody got a hand on it for North Carolina A&T. And the Aggies pulled away with the victory to the shore, falling to three and one in conference play. Let's try and get things going again against Florida A&M on Saturday, and Bethune Cookman, a perennial blue blood in this league, on Monday. Still a great homestand. First quarter of the conference season for Fred Bachelor and company. I think he's got a real contender on his hands this year. Tip time from Florida AM then next Saturday is two o'clock for the women's game and we'll have the pregame show 150 on sfmsports.net. And uh, we'd certainly encourage you to listen to that. Starting lineups on the other side of this break and the opening tip off on the Shore Sports Network and sfmsports.net. Pivot Physical Therapy is the leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine services in the middle over 270 clinic locations and providing sports medicine services to over 120 youth, classic, collegiate, and professional programs. Pivot Physical Therapy is in your backyard with locations in Salisbury, Berlin, Cambridge, Easton, and Seaford. Pivot Physical Therapy and Pivot Sports Medicine is a proud partner. University of Maryland Eastern Shore, providing athletic training and physical therapy care to your Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual stats. It's also measured by their performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student athletes aren't just playing to win a single game, they're playing to win at life. Because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student athletes the game of life. Do you need a break, a getaway, plan a visit to Hyatt, play with you, lay back, relax with your toes in the sand, and unwind to the sounds of the ocean. 
Clear out the delicious meal at Cape Hassa Restaurant on the Bay while taking in the sights of a beautiful sunset. It's time to get away and make that getaway to the Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. Call 302-864-9100 or visit HyattPlaceDeweyBeach.com. Make a lifetime of memories in your own backyard at Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. That's Hyatt Place Dewey Beach on Facebook and Instagram. Training is about more than muscle. It's about inner strength. So I push myself. In the United States Coast Guard. I train with the best, a team that shares my drive and commitment. We collect intelligence, guard our shores against drug smugglers, keep our waterways safe, because our nation expects more. Discover a future that exceeds your expectations. Are you thinking about renting out your house? Good choice, because the rental market is red hot. And renting has never been easier, especially when you hire Renters Warehouse. Their rent estate advisors will find you great tenants, collect the rent, and take those pesky maintenance calls, all while someone else pays your mortgage. Plus, Renters Warehouse gives you 24-7 property management for one low, flat monthly fee. Go to RentersWarehouse.com and get a free home rental price analysis. It's easy, fast, and worry-free. Renters Warehouse, the professional landlords of rent estate. Liberty Mutual Insurance knows you're focusing on the road right now, so we'll just describe our new online banner ads to you. They're bright, welcoming, and clickable, with a perfectly stacked headline that reads, Liberty Mutual customizes your auto insurance so you only pay for what you need. You'll find yourself drinking in this banner ad for minutes on end and wondering about your own insurance choices. Go to LibertyMutual.com for a customized quote and you could save. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Coverage is underwritten by Liberty Mutual Insurance Company and affiliates. Equal housing insurer. This is Maryland Eastern Shore from SFMSports.net. Back at the height. Eastern Shore and North Carolina A&T tipping off uh, momentarily. You caught me, folks, in the middle of a, uh, of a bite of chicken strip here. It's you know, 15 minutes before uh, going on, of course, you know, there's a half an hour break between games. And, uh, stuff your face while you can in this business, and we had some really good food tonight from the Eastern Shore catering staff. Lovely chicken strip, which are ideally the perfect food when it comes to starving down a between game meal. You need to take some water before you really start talking and get yourself into full game mode, but. That sip of water is taken, and now we can bring in the starting lineups. First for Cliff Reed and Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. Kanan Bartley, 6'1", sophomore guard from Miami, Florida. Three points, three rebounds a game for Bartley, starting in his 14th contest this year. Ryan Andino will come off the bench again. Ahmad Frost, six-foot redshirt junior guard from Cincinnati, Ohio. Four points, three rebounds a game for Frost. Ryan Arudia, 6'1", junior guard from El Paso, Texas. Six points, three rebounds. Five assists per game on the dot. That's third in the MEAC. Two steals as well. Tyler Jones, 6'7", junior forward from Atlantic City, New Jersey. Eight points, two rebounds. Uh, closer to three rebounds a game for Jones. And Isaac Taylor, 6'8", redshirt junior forward from Watcher Creek, Virginia. Seven and a half points. It's Cliff Reed's lineup. Now for Jay Joyner and the North Carolina A&T State Aggies. Joyner in his fourth season, third full season as he was the interim coach in uh, late 2016. Got the interim tag removed before the start of the MEAC tournament. His starting lineup today, uh, Quadius Quay Copeland, 6'1", junior guard from Greenville, South Carolina, a transfer from Middle Tennessee State. His coach is alma mater. Copeland, 13 points a game. That's 10th in the league. Rebound and a half and two assists for Copeland. Terry Harris, 6'6", graduate forward from Dix Hills, New York, and Eastern Michigan. 12 points a game, three rebounds. Abraham Sila, 6'8", graduate center from Harlem, New York, by way of Northern Colorado. Eight points and five rebounds a game for Sila. Cameron Langley, 6'2", sophomore guard from Greensboro, Southwest Guilford High School. Five points, three rebounds, six and a half assists per game. He's got the most assists on average of anybody in the act, and he's hit 10 assists in one game twice this year. Alec Gantz, 6'3", senior guard from Harrisburg. 11 points, 3 rebounds, and assist and a half a game. There it is. Copeland, Harris, Sila, Langley, and Gantz. 
for the Hawks, uh, the uh, Aggies rather, and for the Hawks, Bartley, Frost, Aruda, and Taylor. Officials coming over and greeting everybody. It's Haywood Bostic, Mel Chetham, and Reginald Johnson, the three men in stripes today. Hawks and Aggies have had quite a few solid, close-fought bouts on this court the last two years. Triple overtime two years ago, the Hawks won. The Aggies returned the favor, a two-point win last year in Princess Sand. We're ready for the next round here. Bouncing the ball around just to make sure that it's got no air, and we got the green light from everybody. Zeke to tip against, who is that for North Carolina NT? That's Sila. Sila leaps up, controls the hype center. North Carolina NT wearing the navy blue uniforms with the yellowish gold accents. Before going the black jerseys where the women's team wore earlier. They'll move right to left in this first half. Harris in the right wing for the Aggies, guarded closely by Jones. Botched handoff to Langley, who chases it down at the end with 10. Shane Hartley playing a mean defense here. Now it's Sila, loses the handle to the left double, gets it back, spinorama around Taylor, lays it up and in. Ibrahim Sila, 2-0, Aggies on top with the first strike, 40 seconds. TJ at the left wing for the Hawks, Frost now Arudia on the right wing. Hawks in the home white uniforms with the maroon accents and maroon letters. Isaac Taylor top of the circle with Frost. Frost left wing with 10 to shoot, finds Jones. Jones a contested three straight away. Yes, Tyler Jones from distance. 3-2, Eastern Shore, an early lead, one minute in. Langley walks it up for the Aggies against Bartley, dancing like Fred and Ginger over the timeline. Langley kicks it back for Sila. Sila at the top of the circle. To Langley at the left wing. Cameron Langley, leading assist maestro in the lead. Skips down low for Sila. Sila cuts the paint left to right. Hook shot, yes. Nothing but net for Ibrahim Sila. Four to three, Aggies on top. And the clock is frozen. Clock stopped at 18.58. How long it's been stuck that way, we don't know, but uh, nice awareness from Spencer on A&T Radio. Officials then will count that down. Spencer D. Turkin, the lead broadcaster here for North Carolina A&T. And the teams will go back to their respective benches to see how long that clock was stuck on 18.58. And we'll do a time for the game. Let's do a time for the game. Yes, we phrased it exactly like that for that very reason. Hawks back end of a three-game homestand. They lost to North Carolina Central earlier this weekend on Saturday. Monday lost to Howard by 40 points. And they opened MEAC play with a hard-fought loss at Morgan State on, uh, well, last Saturday, nine days ago. Cliff Freed looking for his first MEAC win since 2011 when he squired the Bethune-Cookman Wildcats to a conference regular season championship. The clock remains stopped, and Eastern Shore will inbound it from right next to Jay Joyner and the A&T bench. They're still figuring things out. Oh, it was stopped for a long time. 18.38 now on the game clock. Shot clock's got 26 on it, so Harudia will inbound from there. 4-3 North Carolina A&T. Clock issue resolved. The ghosts expunged from the machine. If they show up again, we'll have to call Bill Murray. Taylor left of center of the Hawks. Zeke with the dribble. Hand off to Bartley. Bartley with Copeland. Jones to the left Jones to Arudia. Arudia accelerates in left side of the paint. Left-handed layup. And in. Ryan Arudia. Down low. Jefferson with Bartley wins the battle. And it's 5-4 to four Eastern Shore. Two minutes into the contest. So Gans on the right sideline for the Aggies. Now Copeland left side. Skips it to Langley straight away. And he'll reset the half-court offense. Langley overhead fling for Harris. Botched handoff. Sold by Jones. Here's a pass to Bartley. Bartley streaking up the right sideline. Kanan Bartley lays it up. And in and one. Kanan 
Bartley with a transition bucket. The explosive Miami man's got a chance for a three-point play. Aggies foul number four, Terry Harris, his first personal, team's first. Fouls against Terry Harris. At the line for the short shooter. Bartley, 74% foul shooter. He would be top 10 in the league if he shot enough free throws. Bartley. He's showing his explosiveness every now and then for the Hawks this season. He tickles a twine that time. Three-point play, 8-4 to four. Hawks, 17-48 to go in the first half. Still there in the basketball game. Langley right to left in the front court for the Aggies. Here's Kua Copeland on the left wing. Flings for Sila at the free throw line. Hand off to Copeland. Screen set. Kua for three. Yes. Kua Copeland, 38% three-point shooter. Top 11 in the conference. 8-7. to seven. Hawks lead two and a half minutes in. Bartley on the right channel for the Hawks. Skips it to Rudy on the right sideline. Screen from Taylor. Rudy tries to Looking and kicks it out for Jones on the right wing. Jones down low for Taylor. Taylor posting right low post. Challenging Sila. Wins the battle. Missed the layup. It slipped out of his hands as he was on those way up. And he on the board. Aggie basketball. Here's Langley at the M. Guarded by Bartley. Cameron Langley. All MEAC rookie teamer last year. Preseason third teamer this season. And to shoot. This is Malik. Kicks it to Copeland. Falling out of bounds. Left corner. Back up for Malik. Steps in free throw line now. Sila. Sila with a two handed jam with the clock expiring. Ibrahim Sila. Nine to eight. Aggies take the lead. 16 and a half to go in the first half. Rudia to Jones, right of center for the Hawks. Guarded by Harris. Jones dribbles once, hands off to Arudia. Brian Arudia takes in and back out again to the right seam. Arudia takes back the timeline. Guarded by Malik, screen set. Arudia gets an open look, lays it up, blocked. Goal 10. Sila. Sila got a hand on it off of the backboard, but it was on the way down first, and Brian Arudia will count the back. Nine turn short. Four minutes gone by in this first half. And Copeland with an errant pass. Gans wasn't ready for it and was behind him. Eastern Shore takes over, and now we have an, a new clock issue as about eight seconds extra tipped off from when it should have stopped. And now it's got 160 on the clock, and that's, that's an interesting way of. Uh, I'm saying two minutes, but they'll try and work this out once again as we're shy of our media timeout during that last break. And now they put 16 even. There should be 16.02 or 16.01 on the clock. Like now it's 6D as uh, whoever up there, Father Time's office is uh, here with certain things. Cut it out now. 16.01, and we are good to go. Inbound to the Hawks. Holding a 10-9 lead. We will have a media timeout at the next whistle. Arudia centers up for Eastern Shore. Rudy batting his time in the backcourt. Dribbles to the right wing. Arudia looking inside. Nobody's open. Skips it for Bartley. Bartley chases it down on the left channel with 10 to shoot. Taylor coming out to the screen. Bartley takes it to the free throw line. Stops. Kicks out for Frost with six. Frost contested left wing three. Sits on the front of the rim. Taylor Jackson three times, but it's picked up off the ground by Langley. And here come the Aggies. Right to left. A&T basketball line. Guarded by Bartley. Dribbling to Jesse T. Williams' signature left channel. Copeland steps into a left wing three. Halfway down. It's out. Rudy with a rebound in transition. Here comes Rudy at the far sideline. Left side layup. Sits on the rim and bounces home. Brian Rudy, who has struggled scoring at times for the Hawks, has six points in the first session. 12 to 9. Eastern Shore leads. And a steal by Arudia as Langley with the dribble drive in and nobody was open. Arudia will try that right side again. Scoop it up for Frost. Right corner three. Yes, sir. Lee. Ahmad Frost in the feet of Rudia. And they are fired up. Joiner and the Aggies. Big bucket for Eastern Shore. They lead the Aggies 15 to 9. And we'll take our media timeout on the Shore Sports Network. Sports.net. Do you need a break, a getaway? Plan a visit to Hyatt Place Dewey Beach in Delaware. Lay back, relax with your toes in the sand, and unwind to the sounds of the ocean. Please your palate with a delicious meal at Cape Hossa Restaurant on the Bay while taking in the sight. 
That's right. It's time to get away and make that getaway to the Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. Call 302-864-9100 or visit HyattPlaceDeweyBeach.com. Make a lifetime of memories in your own backyard at Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. That's Hyatt Place Dewey Beach on Facebook and Instagram. This is Dr. Walt Jan and we're here for you and all of life's little twists and turns. Sometimes and you're out, but you can get back on track again. Our medical experts at Eurodoxin are here to care for you when you need us, delivering the best urgent care. We've even been voted top provider four years in a row. Feel better, faster, or see shore locations today. Just walk in. No appointment necessary. Or check us out at Eurodoxin.com. Locations are open beginning at 8 a.m. every single day. 877-222-4934. The flagship station for Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball is WTGM. Sunbury. Delmar's Fox Sports 9 ticket. 1452 to play in the first half. Eastern Shore leads North Carolina A&T 15-9. Big three from Ahmad Frost moments ago. And some subs for the Hawks. G Gabriel Jim in the first time. And Ryan Andino, a thousand point score for Eastern Shore coming off the bench today. AT basketball here's Gans with the right wing accelerates it around. And the ball pinballs around safe by Harris. And he travels trying to keep himself in bounds. Hawks take over. Ryan Arubia owned that first sequence for Eastern Shore. Six points and the big assist on Frost free from the corner. Frost on the bench right now getting a quick breather. Hawk basketball. Bartley flings it up for Jones over the timeline. TJ to Arudia on the right channel. That's Aaron Eddie. He checked in at the last break. Pull up jumper for uh, Bartley at the free throw line. Shanks off the iron, but Arudia with a steal, and he's blocked on a layup attempt. Edney comes down with the basketball. Two on two for the Ags. Gant steps in at the lane, and this is a float shot. Three down for Bartley. The Hawks back and forth. Both teams have had open looks and have been denied. Rudio, overhand pump for Andino. Catch and shoot left wing three. In and out. Jones, the offensive rebound. Fresh 30 for Eastern Shore as he punches out for Bartley. And now it's Arudia. Arudia at the right wing. Calling out instructions. Jones posting at the right baseline. Said they'll throw it to Bartley. Bartley at the left baseline. He's blocked. Ibrahim Sila. His fair share of swattage down low. He's got two blocks in the early get-go. Isaac Taylor checking back in for Eastern Shore. Tyler Jones gets a break. 15 to shoot for the Hawks. For Andino, that first miss three. And he's really struggling in the act play. Inbound to Taylor. Taylor jump layup. Too strong. Rebound to Rudia. Inside for Taylor. That's too strong for him to Sila. And Copeland, uncontested layup is in. Copeland was way out in front that time. And the Aggies cut it to 15. 20 to play in the first half. And Nino averaging just four points a game in conference. Arudia jousting with Ed Mead on the perimeter. Tries to hit the free throw line. Kicks to Bartley left baseline. Kane and Bartley fade away. 10 foot jumper. Yes. Bartley, the mid range J. 17 to 11. Eastern Shore. 13 even to go in the first half. Last Monday against Howard, the Hawks didn't even manage 12 points in the first half. They've already clipped that for good measure. Hugh Copeland at the left wing for the Aggies. Now Sila, Sila slithers in. He's fouled. Abraham Sila missed the shot. Ryan Andino fouls him, and he'll step to the free throw line. Sila standing six foot eight from Harlem. He caught the attention of not just Northern Colorado fans, but several cardiologists actually when he was playing. Missed a lot of time as a junior, uh, sophomore and junior with a heart condition that flared up as he goes home. I'm out frost back in hypertropic cardiomyopathy which in basketball circles was the heart disease that killed Hank Gathers of Loyola Marymount in the middle of a game over 25 years ago now but Sile is okay and cleared to play basketball otherwise he wouldn't be out there right now and he's been a beast down low for the Aggies so far makes both of his free throws 17 to 13 Hawks 12-40 to play in the first half Frost and Arudia managed over the timeline for Eastern Shore. Alley open. It's Gabriel Jimpy who hammers it down. Arudia and Frost 
were pinned towards the timeline. That's one way to get it to the basket. Go over everybody. Explosive alley oop. Rudy to Jim Fee. 19 to 13. Hawks on top. 12 and change to go before halftime. Ed Mead on the right wing for the Aggies. Kicks it out for Copeland. Copeland crossover dribble against the Rudia. Gets around him at the free throw line. Step back 17 footer. Push to the left. Rebound Jim Fee. Here come the Hawks up the far sideline. Arudia pushing for Taylor. And Taylor travels trying to keep himself in bounds. It's a lot of big man to stay in bounds on a strong pass. Media timeout. 12 minutes even to go in the first half. 19 to 13 Eastern Shore leads in the Shore Sports Network and SFM Sports. Signs by Tomorrow is proud to be one of the founding companies of the one-day sign industry. Our services include banners, trade show displays, window and vehicle lettering, decals, name tags, logo reproduction, and real estate signs. We offer free estimates, design proposals, and on-site consultations. What we can do for you. Signs by Tomorrow. Call. 860-0033 or visit sitesbytomorrow.com The Eastern Shore is a perfect place to visit year-round. A gem hidden on the lower shore is the Henson. Located in the heart of Princess Anne on the picturesque campus of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The Henson is the perfect choice for business trips, reunions, meetings, and relaxing getaways. Check it out. And we'll take care of the rest. Book online at umes.edu slash Hanson. This is Hawks Basketball from sfmsports.net. We got 12 minutes to go in the first half. Eastern Shore leads North Carolina A&T 19-13. Aggie basketball. Hua Copeland to fling it in. Hawks an explosive start shooting 8 to 15 in the first half, 53%. Brian and Rudy with a couple of assists, including Alley Oop, slam dunk to Gabriel Jimphy. Malik Gantz, right sideline for the Aggies, skips it for Ibrahim Sila, who's already got eight points himself. Back up for Gantz. Now Harris, he'll try the straightaway quick trigger three and hook it to the left. Rebound Arudia. Here come the Hawks. Arudia gallops left to right into the front court. 3-2 zone defense for the Aggies, saying that we saw from Terrell Robinson and the women's team earlier tonight. Down low for Zeke Taylor. Fade away right side jumper. Yes, Isaac Taylor goes up over Sila and wins the battle. First bucket for Zeke. 21-13 Shore. 11-11. Make a wish to go in the first half. Hawks wishes to win this game and hold this lead. Aaron Ed Mead, senior from Deep Deer Park, New York. Key transfer from Wagner last year for the Aggies has it. Copeland flings it in for Harris. Harris double team down low. Muscles his way to a layup and in. Terry Harris, the former Eastern Michigan Eagle. 21 to 15, the Hawks lead. Tax time, 10.40 to play in the first half. Here's Andino left channel for the shore. Now it's Arudia. Screen coming from Taylor. Rudy takes it. Bob's out at the free throw line. Frost back to Arudia. Now 10 to shoot. Screen coming from Taylor. Arudia staring down Eddie. Shakes him. Kicks it out for Andino. Left wing. It back to Arudia at the left high post. Frost with the clock expiring. Straight away three. It's an air ball. And a shot clock violation. Hawks can't get it off. Aggie basketball. Tyrone Lyons checking in for North Carolina a and Terry Harris is great. Lyons from Amityville, New York. St. Anthony's High School. Staying six foot six. He's one of these wing players, guards and forwards for Jay Joyner. Copeland, cross court to Ed Mead, up into the front court to Copeland and Ed Mead again. Ed Mead, five points and assists per game. He's seen his playing time dip significantly from last year. Lions top of the circle, threads it for Gantz. Back to Copeland. Ed Mead left wing, he'll try the baseline, step back 12 footer, rattles home. Ed Mead, contested, tough bucket. 21-17, Hawks lead by four. Under 10 to play in the first half. Frost to Rudy, yes, stolen by Copeland. Copeland read that route all the way. Kua Copeland taking it himself high off the window and in. The scoop and score from Kua Copeland. 
21 to 19, the Hawks lead. Nine and a half to play before halftime. Frost right wing for the shore, kicks for Andino, wide open, right corner for three. Two strong. Rebound for Sila. Here come the Aggies. It's top two, lead for the three. Here's Edmead from the edge of the M as the Aggies set up. Three Hawks subs do on. Bartley Jones and Montrez Oliver for the first time. Gantz deep right wing into the corner for Copeland. Copeland feeds Sila down low. Double team back up. He just passes the left corner. Ed, he glides to the free throw line. Shuffles it back for Copeland. Contested three straight away. A little bit short. Arudia boxes out for the rebound. And he picks up a ticky tack foul against Sila. Nice rebound by Rudy. First foul against Sila. Just the second foul against the Aggies. Hawks have one. No subs are in. Bartley and Jones and Montrez Oliver. Miracle Montrez from Washington High School in Princess Anne. He's averaging five points a game in 17 minutes. For real action as a college ball player. Here's Bartley right wing for the shore. Now Jones into the corner. Back out for Bartley. Bartley pumps it cross court for Oliver. Now Andy on the left wing. He's smothered. Tend to shoot. Bartley running the floor with Rudy on the bench now. Five seconds left. Bartley flings it for Oliver. Oliver right baseline. Got to get it off. Jim Fee. Finger roll layup is in. Hawks use every bit of the shot clock that time. Jim Fee on the feed from Oliver. 23-19. I repeat, we have a 23-19. Hawks lead. Eight before halftime. Edmead accelerates in. Finds Sila left baseline. Joust with Jones. Lays it up and in. 21 Hawks up two. Eight minutes even to play in the first half. We'll have a media timeout at the next whistle. Jim Fee at the free throw line. Turnaround jumper. Yes, Gabriel Jim Fee showing off the mid-range. He's got six. Hawks continuing to light it up. They're 11 of 20 from the floor, leading 25 to 21 with 7.43 to play in the first half. Here's Ed Mead controlling it for the Aggies. Top of the circle steps into a three as Jim Fee backed off, but he missed it strong. Rebound for Andino. And Bartley resisting the urge to charge forward with Gusto. He'll just walk it over the timeline. Play catch with Montrez Oliver for a little while. It's five, now six passes between the two of them. Bartley slithers in center lane. Pass might have hit a foot of an Aggie. No call. Jones juggles it to himself after a challenge from Eddie. Missed the tough layup, and Silas there for the board. Blue basketball. Here's Ed Mead. Saunters right to left into the front court. Marked by Oliver. Ed Mead stops his triple, floats it for Sila at the free throw line. Fakes the handoff. Now finds Ed Mead on a wheel play for the hoop and the harm. Locking foul is Kanan Bart. Aaron Edmead traveled all the way around the world to get that layup, and he's got a chance for a three-point play when we come back. 6.52 to play in the first half. Eastern Shore 25, a and 23. Sports Network and SFM Sports. Hey, this happens here, here, and virtually anywhere. Because today, innovate are reinventing the way business happens and they need people who can keep up with the expertise and technology to get packages to over 150 million delivery points so who can help you deliver the future of commerce the united states postal service see why we deliver more e-commerce packages to homes than anyone at usps.com future Hey, this is Shaq. When I was playing ball, our team doctors helped me overcome pain with something called TENS therapy. And I see how Smart Relief is that same kind of therapy. You just push a button and whoosh. Smart Relief sends waves of relaxing pulses that immediately start blocking pain. Back, hip, knee, or shoulder pain. Even works for hours after you turn it off. Man, this Smart Relief is so smart, they should call it Shaq Relief. Ooh, I like that one. Somebody write that down for me. Turn on Smart Relief and turn off pain. Get my lawyer on the phone. I need to patent that. He's only directed. This is Hawks Basketball from SFMSports.net. Hype Center, Eastern Shore leading North Carolina a 25-23. 6.52 to play in the first half. Will DeBoer with you on the Shore Sports Network. Aaron Edmead walks into the free throw line for the Aggies. He's got one coming up as... Picked up an and one going into the last break. Deer High School... Tuesday's Long Island team 
Mesa High School. He was the Long Island Player of the Year by Newsday as a senior. Makes his free throw. 25 to 24. Hawk lead down to one. The six and change to play before halftime. Hawks beating a tough press defense into the front court. It's a Rudia from the edge of the M. Rudia, Bartley, Andino, Jones, and Jimsby on the floor for White. Ten to shoot. Here's Andino left corner. Dribble driving in. Stops and pops 15 foot. Little short. Rebound for Edney. Aggies can try and take the lead here. Edmead taking it himself. Kicks it to Copeland. Now Harris right wing for three. And he's fouled. A late whistle as Jim Fee knocked Harris out of the air. Free throw, the three-pointer lips out, but Terry Harris will shoot three free throws. Terry Harris from Dix Hills, New York. Half Hollow Hills West High School in Eastern Michigan. Basketball family. First free throws up and good. An 85% free throw shooter. That's top 10 in the nation. Brother Tobias. The player has second free throws in. Tobias Harris. For a little while. Now with the Clippers. Third free throw is in for Harris. He made all three of them. 27 to 25. North Carolina AT leads. 6-16 to play in the first half. Bartley over the timeline. That's a 10 seconds violation. Keenan tried to do a shuffle forward. the backcourt violation as the Hawks did not get it away over the timeline in time. And we got a uh, botched inbound as well, they were in the right spot to begin with. And now they'll inbound. It's into Edney. 27 to 25, A&T on top. Coming up on six minutes to play before halftime. Ed Mead guarded by Bartley as the Aggies are taking control here. Ed Mead takes the screen, finds Copeland on the left wing. Quay Copeland, hook pass to Ronald Jackson, who checked in during the last whistle. Ed Mead, left wing, accelerates in at the baseline, lays it up and in, and one. And Ed Mead wins the battle with Kane and Bartley once again. The and one. The Long Islander. Last for the Aggies. Ed Mead, nearly 10 points a game, three assists, two rebounds. He's become more of a deep bench player for Jay Joyner this year. It's worked for him. Second free throw tickles the twine, and Ed Mead's having a pretty good first half. That's nine. 30 to 25. 9-0 run for the Aggies, 5.38 to play before halftime. Here's Bartley top of the circle for the Hawks. Marudia pumps it to Jones in the right corner. Back up for Bartley. Bartley down low for Taylor. Taylor climbs the ladder for it. Double team. Floats it off the corner of the backboard. Not a great shot. And a rebound for Harris. Copeland works his way around. No look pass for Malik in the left baseline. Now it's Harris. He traveled. Harry Harris travels. And the Hawks take over. Just a final word on Terry Harris. We didn't get his full family history there. Tobias Harris in the NBA playing for the Clippers. Brother Tyler played at Auburn. His sister Tessia at St. John. Mod Frost and Montrez Oliver back in for Eastern Shore. Frost dancing over the timeline for the Hawks. Double team on right wing into Arugia. He wasn't ready for it. Intercepted by Cole. So there's in no look pass down for Jackson. Jackson's bumping the layup attempt, and he's got a chance for a three point play as the shot goes. All North Carolina AT. And Cliff Reed will call a timeout, a 30 second break. 30 second timeout, followed by Carolina Eastern Shore. 
4.57 to play in the first half. 32 to 25 a and And we'll stick with you here. Hawks have cooled off just as the Aggies have heated up. They shot 63% from the floor in the Delaware State game. They're shooting 11 of 17 today. That's 65%. An 11-0 Aggie run and 19-4 over the past six and a half minutes. The fouls are going to And a free throw coming for Ronald Jackson, a junior forward from Clay County, Florida, by way of Hillsborough Community College. Jackson averaging four and a half points and three rebounds in 15 minutes of contest. <laughs> Methodical with his free throw routine. Big shrug of shoulders and a breath. Free throw, lips out, rebound Oliver. Seven point Hawk deficit trying to stem the tide. 11 nothing in the Aggie favor. Arudia muscled towards the sideline in the backcourt, flings it into the front court in the nick of time. Cross left baseline, circles back out again. Some fierce Aggie defense. Ten to shoot, Arudia stopped at the free throw line. He'll try the left elbow, threaded to Jones. Catch and shoot three, yes! Tyler Jones right in front of the Aggie bench. Jones from deep, he's got six. 32-28, Austin and the tie to Aggie team by four. Four halftime. Sideline, Copeland around the horn to Ed Mead for the Aggies. Ed Mead back to Gantz straight away. Gantz retreats backwards, screen set by Harris. To Copeland in the right corner with five to shoot. Copeland out to Gantz. Gantz, three, two. Gantz will try the desperation three. Nearly back. The Hawks, Arudia, weaving his way through traffic, jumps in for Oliver, left corner, thought about the three, steps into a 17-footer, lips out, jumps there for the putback, and he missed it. And a foul on the scrum for the rebound. And it's against Harris. Tyler Jones catches a break, Hawks retain possession when we come back. 46 to play in the first half. A&T 32, Eastern Shore 28 on the Shore Sports Network and sfmsports.net. Vivid Physical Therapy is the leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine services in the Mid-Atlantic region with over 270 clinic locations and providing sports medicine services to over 120 youth, scholastic, collegiate, and professional programs. Vivid Physical Therapy is in your backyard with locations in Salisbury, Berlin, Cambridge, Easton, and Seaford. Pivot Physical Therapy and Pivot Sports Medicine is a proud partner of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, providing athletic training and physical therapy care to your Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual stats. It's also measured by their performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student athletes aren't just playing to win a student game, they're playing to win at life. Because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student athletes for the game of life. This is Hoss Basketball from SFMSports.net. 3.46 to play in the first half. Maryland Eastern Shore trailing Carolina A&T 32-28. Hawks started fast, has cooled off. The Aggies trying to pull ahead. This is two years in a row now that Jay Joyner has worked with massive roster turnover. Both last year and the year before had to fill 11 roster spots. He lost four out of his five top scorers from last year's team that finished one game out of a tie for the MEAC regular season championship. They were 11-5 and five in conference, went to the MEAC semis, and eventually played a postseason game in the CIT, where they lost to Liberty. Joyner had to fill several roster spots, and he has with seeming gusto. A pretty decent non conference. Wins over Mount St. Mary, Central Connecticut, Tennessee State, amongst others. On that last play, correction on the foul. Correction on that foul. Number 21. 21 Ronald Jackson. Fouls against Ronald Jackson that brought to the timeout. Now Montrez Oliver's three misses. Strong Jones there for the putback, and this time it falls for TJ. Tyler Jones. 
Hawks cut it to 2, 32 to 30. Eastern Shore down, 3.30 to play before halftime. Here's Edney right sideline for Blue Lions. Now it's Andre Jackson on the left wing for the Aggies. Andre Jackson, junior from Charlotte, and Art Amanti, Sarasota College, checked in. Edney with six to shoot slithers. Drives right baseline over Taylor, and he couldn't get the angle. Taylor was too tall. Rebound tipped out of bounds. Staying with the Aggies. The clock never reset. He looked like he was off the side of the backboard, not the rim. Abraham Silas back in for North Carolina A&T. They'll have just two to shoot. Silas had a great first half. 12 points, 5 for 5 shooting. They'll look for him here. Ed Mead pumps it to Silas, saves it in, and... They didn't get the shot clock shot off. Clock they didn't get the shot off. Hawks hold on defense. And Ed Mead checks out after that errant pass from the inbound. Cameron Langley's back in. Hawks can tie with a two, lead with a three. Here's Jones back to Frost and a Rudy a straightaway for the Hawks. Rudy pumps it back to Frost, fakes to Jones, accelerates in. No look back to Rudy. Jones calling for it. Spots up left wing three, too strong. Rebound, tipped, and it's on the floor. Scrum in the land of the tall trees. Frost comes in. Up. Frost, Jones looking for the behind. Counted in the foul. Tyler Jones with a muscle in the paint. Ronald Jackson commits the foul, and TJ has got a chance for a three point play to get the Hawks the lead. Last year, 12 points a game. He's got 10 in the first half today. Gabriel Jimsey in. Isaac Taylor out for the Hawks. And Tyler Jones shooting one. 64% free throw shooter. Aggies will sub Terry Harris back in the game as well. And Colin Gaynor is about to for Eastern Shore for the shooter for Tyler Jones if he makes his free throw. This to give the Hawks the lead. So there's Swift. Tyler Jones, a three point play. Colin Gaynor checks it for him. Gaynor from Berlin, Maryland, and uh, Parkside High School in Salisbury. Hawks back in front, back and forth for a half. first half. Aggies trying to respond. Hale and Mary pass it to Copeland over the timeline. Quay Copeland drops it back for Langley. Langley, again, hands it off Copeland. Copeland right back to Langley, and Copeland and Langley playing catch with each other. Langley has it now, top of the circle, 10 to shoot. Spreads it for Copeland, no look inside for Andre Jackson. Back up for Copeland with five to shoot. Langley's calling for it, spots up right wing for three, shanks it short, Silo with the offensive rebound, and he's fouled. Graham Silo all over the place once again. Fouls against Brian Arudia. And Silo's back to the line. Silo has overcome the heart condition, the more than just a productive contributor for the Aggies this year. Abraham Silo. Last year at Northern Colorado, played in 15 games, averaged half a point while figuring out how to live and play with his hypertrophic cardio myopathy. Cardio myopathy. Apologies to doctors who are out there. Isaac Taylor back in. So Andino from Maryland, Eastern Shore. Sila with 13 points, and he hasn't missed a shot so far today. Five for five from the floor, three for three from the charity strike. Former McDonald's All-American nominee at Denver South High School. Second free throw, lips in. 34 to 33, Aggies. Sila's got 14 in the first half. 2.10 to go before halftime. Oliver on the left channel for the Hawks. Now it's Jones at the left elbow. Tries the baseline against Harris. Spins around him under the basket. Reverse layup. Rebound Langley. TJ dot the eye. Two minutes to go. Here's Copeland on the left wing. Copeland for the Aggies. Kicks it back to Langley. Straight away three. Push to the right. Rebound off the court by Taylor. And here comes Rhea. Touch right over the M for the Hawks. 100 seconds to go before half. Oliver. Now Taylor on the right seam. Hand off to Arudia in the backcourt. 
Arudia dribbling towards the NCAT bench, left side. Taylor sets a screen. Arudia tries the baseline, backs out, clings it for Jones, with five to shoot. TJ fakes a handoff. He'll accelerate in left baseline, and the layup misses again. It catches the iron at the wrong time. Second straight possession where Jones has nearly had one in this. Langley falls over in the front court for the Aggies. Hawk fans wanting a walk. They don't get it. And a timeout for Jay Joyner. Let his kids get their head on a swivel. We're about to have a substitution. Amari Hamilton's coming in for the Aggies. A redshirt senior from Durham, South Durham High School. As Hamilton, who has uh, certainly endured quite a bit for the Aggies. Coaching change, a three-win season. Last year, seven. Soldier for Jay Joyner. Aggies lead 34 33 with 106 to play in the first half. And the timeout's coming to an end. Coming over to halftime, we'll have the halftime analysis, of course. Having across major college basketball, a really good one. At Cameron Indoor in Durham, top ranked new hosting Syracuse, and a really great matchup there. We'll have Piac scores as well. Everybody in the league is in action today, except for Morgan State and Howard, who had snow delay their bout until tomorrow. Aggie basketball with 20 to shoot. They flick it in for Hamilton, the senior. Hamilton screens up by Harris. He takes it to the left wing. One minute to go. Hamilton, left baseline, skip it down low for Sila. Sila, left side layup is in. Trap Sila on the feed from Hamilton. What a game for Sila. 16 first half points for the big man. 36 to 33. Eastern Shore down with 43 seconds to go before the break. Arudia holds it on the right wing for the shore. Stops the left elbow and there's Jay. Ryan and Dino with the assist from Oliver. Hawks back within one at 36-35. Shot clock is off. And Blue can hold on for the final look. This is Hamilton content to milk this clock like it's a farm. Copeland steps into a 20-foot jumper, shanks it, rebounds on the floor, picked up by Arudia. Three seconds left, two. Arudia's gonna have a pretty good look here. From the free throw line, running floater, no. Little strong, and we reach halftime from the height. North Carolina a and 36, Maryland Eastern Shore, 35. Well played for half by both sides, back and forth. Just a skinny little point representing the difference. We'll take a break, come back with the halftime numbers and scores from out of, ta out of town. Again, your halftime score, the North Carolina a and Aggies, 36. Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks, 35 on the Shore Sports. Your docs and urgent care has you covered. From physicals to flu shots, pediatrics to pneumonia, strep throat to stitches. Whether you're on vacation or on your way to work, they accept most insurance and offer affordable self-pay options. Use Clockwise online, call, or just stop by. Your Docs Inn has been named the best urgent care for four years in a row. Your Docs Inn urgent care with six convenient locations to serve you on Maryland's Eastern Shore, whether you live here or you're just traveling through. Do you need a break, a getaway? Plan a visit to a place to the beach in Delaware. Lay back, relax with your toes in the sand and unwind. the ocean, please your palate. With a delicious K-Pasa restaurant on the bay while taking in the sights of a beautiful sunset. It's time to get away and make that getaway to the Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. Call 302-864-9100 or visit HyattPlaceDeweyBeach.com. Make a lifetime of memories in your own backyard at Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. That's Hyatt Place Dewey Beach on Facebook and Instagram. 
In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual stats. It's also measured by the performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student athletes aren't just playing to win a single game. They're playing to win at life because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student athletes for the game of life. Hawks fans, improving reliability with new technology is only part of Del Mar Power's commitment to customers. They're also helping customers save money and energy with tips, tools, and programs that can help everyone reduce monthly bills. Just visit delmarva.com slash everyone saves for more. That's delmarva.com slash everyone saves. Delmarva Power. Mary Eastern Shore Athletics. Are you thinking about selling your home? Well, think bigger. Selling is old school. Selling is small. While the rent market is huge. Since 2010, renter households are up by 4 million nationwide. While last year, home ownership hit a 30-year low. So before you sell, look into renting. It's easy, fast, and worry-free when you hire Renters Warehouse. They'll price your property, find your tenants, collect the rent, and take those pesky maintenance calls. Go to RentersWarehouse.com for a free home rent analysis today. Renters Warehouse, the professional lords of rent estate. With the Capital One with Silver Card, you earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, every way. It's easy. That's just the way I like it. Oh, that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, uh-huh. Woo! The Quicksilver Card from Capital One. That's your wallet. That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh. USA and A. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from sfnsports.net. Now, let's go courtside. This is the Halftime Show. And we welcome you inside the Shore Halftime Show, courtside of the Heights Center in Princess Anne, where the Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks... Will DeBoer with you on the Shore Sports Network. Story of the first half, hot shooting by both sides, but it's Ibrahim Sila, the graduate transfer from Northern Colorado, who has taken control down low for the Aggies. Six of six shooting, four of four from the free throw line. He's got 16 first half points to go along with five rebounds and three assists. Sila's season high is 20. That came back on November 29th against Central Connecticut State, and he is well on his way to eclipsing that today. Full numbers for both teams. The Hawks shooting 15 of 32 in the first half. That's 47%. Three of eight from long range. Two of two from the free throw line. The Aggies shot 13 of 24 in the first half. 54% continuing their hot shooting trend from Saturday at Dell State. Just one of eight from distance. Nine of ten from the free throw line. Far more chances to the charity stripe for the Aggies. Hawks shooting six fouls. Five of them. In fact, all of them have uh, produced the line for the Aggies. The score for Eastern Shore is Tyler Jones. He's got 11 points on four of six shooting, two of three from distance. 11 points for Tyler Jones. Brian Rudia with six points, seven rebounds, and three assists. A nice, well-rounded first half for Rudia. Six points off the bench for Gabriel Jimphy. Five for Kanan Bartley. Cross to each Isaac Taylor and Ryan Andino, and then Colin Gator and Montrez Oliver are scoreless. For the Aggies, as mentioned, Ibrahim Sila, 16 points on six of six shooting. Eight off the bench for Aaron Edmead, seven for Quay Copeland. Terry Harris has five, and then everybody else is scoreless. Cameron Langley, Malik Gantz, Andre Jackson, Ronald Jackson, Amari Hamilton, and Tyrone Lyons. The rebounding situation, the Hawks with a slim 15 to 14 edge including 5-2 on the offensive end. Fouls, four of them against a and in the first half. Two against Ronald Jackson. Hawks had six fouls, two against Kanan Bartley. Assists, 9-7. to seven. Short with the advantage. Brian Arudia with three helpers. Frost and Oliver with two each. Turnovers. Cleanly played first half. Hawks with just five giveaways to ANT's six. Blocks two to one for the Aggies and steals tied at three three. Points in the paint. North Carolina ANT a twenty to sixteen. Points off turnovers tied nine nine. For the Hawks, fast break points.
points, 4 to 2 for Eastern Shore, and bench points tied at 8 to 8. We've had three ties and six lead changes, indicative of the back and forth nature of the first half. Led by as many as seven, Shore is led by as many as eight. And look at this, and Stan Bradley just, uh, well, this is why we always have a second set of eyes on, on the uh, box score here. Brian Rudy has got seven rebounds. Everybody else for Eastern Shore has just one. Nice catch there, Stan. Very nice. Just one of the quirks of the box score, ladies and gentlemen. It happens every now and then. We'll take a break, come back, take a look at the out-of-town scores and the MEAC in the top 25 on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.com. Signs by Tomorrow is proud to be one of the founding companies of the one-day sign industry. Our services include banners, trade show displays, window and vehicle lettering, decals, name tags, logo reproduction, and real estate signs. We offer free estimates, design proposals, and on-site consultations. One-day service is available. Let us show you what we can do for you. Signs by Tomorrow. Call 410 86 or visit signsbytomorrow.com. The Eastern Shore is a perfect place to visit year-round. A gem hidden on the lower shore is the Henson. Located in the heart of Princess Anne on the picturesque campus of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The Henson is the perfect choice for camping. trips, reunions, meetings, and relaxing getaways. Check into the Henson and we'll take care of the rest. Look online at UMES. Edu slash Hanson. Pivot Physical Therapy is the leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine services in the Mid-Atlantic region with over 270 clinic locations and providing sports medicine services to over 100 youth, scholastic, collegiate, and professional programs. Pivot Physical Therapy is in your backyard with locations in Salisbury, Berlin, Cambridge, Easton, and Seaford. Pivot Physical Therapy and Pivot Sports Medicine is a proud partner of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, providing athletic training and physical therapy care to your Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. Training is about more than muscle. It's about inner strength. So I push myself. That's why I serve in the United States Coast Guard. I train with the best. A team that shares my drive and commitment. We collect intelligence, guard our shores against drug smugglers, and keep our waterways safe. Because our nation expects more. Discover a future that exceeds your expectations. Learn more.com. All money managers might seem the same, but while some give their clients cookie cutter portfolios, Fisher Investments tailors portfolios to your goals and needs. Some only call when they have something to sell. Fisher calls regularly, so you stay informed. And while some advisors are happy to earn commissions, Fisher Investments fees are structured so we do better when you do better. In other words, we're on your side. Maybe that's why most of our clients come from other money managers. So if you're in or nearing retirement, talk with us and find out why investors are switching to and staying with Fisher Investments. Fisher Investments, clearly better money management. Investments in securities involve the risk loss. Visit us at fisherinvestments.com to find out what we can do for you. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from sfmsports.net. Back on the Shore Halftime Show, Hawks trailing at North Carolina A&T 36-35 after a well-played first half by both sides. Out-of-town MEAC scores, halftime from Coppin State, Eagles trailing in South Carolina State 29-27. Three minutes to go from Delaware. First half, Hornets tied with North Carolina Central, 25 to 25. And a tie in Norfolk State. The Spartans and Bethune Cookman knotted up at 27 all, with under four to play in the first half. Tomorrow, Morgan State at Howard in a game that was postponed due to snow. Top 25 scores, 12 to go from Cameron Indoor Stadium. Syracuse giving top-ranked Duke all it can handle. Devils lead 70 to 65. Zion Williamson, I think he's over his double vision. He's got 28. Eight points and six rebounds so far. 11 to go from Pittsburgh. Number 11, Florida State, trailing the Pitt Panthers, 49 to 47. And one final from Assembly Hall in Bloomington, Indiana. 25th ranked Hoosiers losing 66 to 51 to Nebraska. 
scores later tonight. Number 19, Maryland hosts Wisconsin, and number seven, Texas, or number seven, Kansas, has Texas in town. We'll take one last break, come back, and bring you second half action from the Heights on the Shore Sports Network and SFM Sports. So you're moving. Congratulations. You could also move from average homeowner to savvy investor. How? By renting out your home with Renters Warehouse. Renting your property can deliver steady cash flow and long-term equity, plus great tax breaks. It's called Rent Estate. So forget a one-and-done sale gutted by commissions and closing costs. Turn your home into a giant cash register that rings over. Get started at RentersWarehouse.com with a free home rental price analysis. Renters Warehouse, the professional landlords of Rent Estate. Let's think about customization presented by Liberty Mutual Insurance. Liberty Mutual customizes your auto insurance so you only pay for what you need. So why can't more things in life be customizable? Why can't I buy Neapolitan ice cream? Can't I just have the chocolate and vanilla flavors I'm comfortable with? Do people even want a fruity ice cream flavor sandwiched right between the classics? Go to LibertyMutual.com for a customized quote and you could save. Liberty, 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 Liberty. Coverage is underwritten by Liberty Mutual Insurance Company and affiliates. Equal housing insurer. Indeed knows it's hard to find qualified candidates when you're hiring. It's like finding a unicorn. But when you post your job on Indeed, it's easy to find people with the skills you need. Nurse practitioner, four plus years experience, acute care certification. Indeed has a huge pool of amazing candidates and screener tools that help you find your most qualified applicants. Whoa, an entire short list of unicorns. Now, get a $50 credit to give your first job posting premium placement at Indeed.com slash credit. Terms, conditions, quality standard, and usage limits apply. Additional terms online. Do you ever wonder how we're streaming millions of movies on demand? Or do we're banking from the beach? And how are we watching a live mission? from Mars. Smart business minds dreamed these ideas, and Amazon Web Services is how they built them. With the broadest functionality and the most experience, the leading enterprises trust the AWS cloud to build the next big idea. Are you ready to build it? Learn more at awshow.com. Greece is cheap. But the airfare costs a fortune. Paris? Not much closer. And again, airfare... What about Puerto Vallarta? Let's face it, flying anywhere is just too expensive. Wait, what's this? Low-cost airlines. With low-cost airlines, you'll drastically slash your travel costs. We're insanely low airline prices to any of your favorite destinations. Where would you like to go? London, Rome... Australia? Wow, that's cheap. So why wait? Call now to learn how crazy cheap it is to fly anywhere in the U.S. or international. Our prices are so low, we can't publish them. The only way to get them is to call to instantly hear the most amazing best deals on airline travel. It's that easy. So call now and start packing. 800-222-0511. 800-222-0511. 800 Again, that's 800-222-0511. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from sfmsports.net. Second half action from the Ice Center. North Carolina A&T leads Maryland Eastern Shore 36-35. Well played first half by both sides. Both teams shot 47% for better. For the Aggies has been attacking down low and drawing contact going to the line. The Aggies 9 for 10 from the free throw line. The Hawks just 2 for 2. Scoring change from the halftime box score. Ronald Jackson actually has 2 points and Abraham Silas got 14. Silas still having a great game. Just 14 points instead of 16. Teams switch sides. Hawk basketball as we come out of the break. Frost and Arudia high fives. They hit their, their respective places. Frost and Tricker the inbound to Arudia. Bartley, Jones, and Taylor starters on the floor for Maryland Eastern Shore. Looks like the same for the Aggies. Copeland, Sila, Langley, Harris, and Gantz. Falls into Arudia. We are underway. For the final 20 minutes from the height. Here's a Rudia on the left sideline. Screen set by Taylor. Rudy at the free throw line. Steps back. Flings it to Frost. Open left wing three. Got it. Ahmad 
Frost with a free from Arudia. It has a hot start for Eastern Shore. 38 to 36 Hawks, 19 plus to go in the second half. We are just underway, half a minute into the second half. Gantz to the right corner for the Aggies. Accelerates and it kicks it out for Harris. Now Gantz stop with a circle. Gantz travels. Traveling by Legion Hawks. Travel. The high part of the arc. Getting the tires, and Eastern Shore takes over. Jay Joyner not exactly happy with the call, and he's sharing his frustrations with the official. Bartley inbounds to Arudia. Hawks led significantly in that first half. They were up by as many as eight. Close the gap. Here's Frost at the top of the circle. Floats it for Bartley in the right corner. Bartley out to Frost. Back to Arudia on the left channel. Tend to shoot. Arudia guarded closely by Langley. Loses the handle, gets it back. Five to shoot, threads it for Bartley. Right corner three, skims the rim. Rebound to Harris and a foul. A foul is against Harris. Harris with a push off on Jones to get that rebound. And Eastern Shore retains possession. Second foul against Terry Harris. First for the Aggies. Arudia looking to inbound. He's looking for Frost. He's covered. It's in the Jones left low post. Jones blocked by Sila. Sila, a beast down low for Blue. It's Copeland left baseline. Hands it off to Sila. Sila lays it up and in and one. Abraham Sila. Now he's got 16 points. He's got a chance for 17 with a three point play. Fouls against Tyler Jones. Sila had 20 points against Central Connecticut. This is the second highest total he has had. What a night for the Harlem born Northern Colorado man. Free throws in. Six for six from the floor, five for five from the line. This is the best shooting day he's probably had in years. 39 to 38. A and T. Minute and a half into the second session. Here's Bartley right in front of Cliff Reed for the Hawks. Jones at the screen. Bartley chasing to the right corner. Double team. Kicks it out for Jones. Right wing three. Short. Scrum for the rebound. Taylor had it. Uh, touched it out of bounds. And North Carolina A&T had control of the ball anyway. The only difference is they'll inbound instead of bringing it up in transition. Harris kicks it in for Copeland, and it's back to Langley. Left to right, move the Aggies. Copeland walks it over the timeline. Now it's Langley from the M. Guarded by Bartley. Cameron Langley, the assist leader in the MEAC, shut out with assists in the first half. Tend to shoot. Here's Langley. Behind the back dribble, finds Gantz right baseline. Gantz blocked by Taylor. What a stuff from Isaac. You can hear that from all the way over here. Three on two for the Hawks, and Frost loses it out of bounds in the left corner. Eastern Shore moving just a bit too hastily that time. Aaron Ed beat in. Malik Gantz out. Meet eight first half points for the Aggies. He possesses the basketball, pushes it up for Langley near the timeline. Langley walks it into the front court, floats it for Harris in the left corner. Harris back up. Second half is the second half. One lead, 38. Sila right wing, back to Harris, and Langley again, five to shoot, Langley accelerates in, crashes the glass, lays it up and in, and one. Cameron Langley with a chance for a three-point play. That's been an A&T specialty today. Against Frost. Now Ryan Andino's in, Ahmad Frost out. And Dino held just two points in the first half. Langley at the line. A double-double last year with points and assists, 11 and 10. Against Howard last season, started 33 games, dished out five assists, average about seven and a half points. His free throw, a little strong. Rebound for Jones. 41 to 38, ANT on top. 17 and change to play in the second half. Arudia right sideline for the Hawks. Taylor sets a screen for him. Ed Mead sticks to him like glue. Now it's Andino. Quick trigger left wing. Short front of rim. Rebound Ed 
Ebony. Ebony sprinting. Goes up against two Hawks himself. Float shots and air ball. Rebound Jones. And here comes Arudia. Three on three. Down low for Taylor. And it was Harris who got a hand on it and knocked it out of bounds. Oh, and we got some extracurriculars. Hawks basketball. <laughs> uh, when the official stick for North Carolina A&T, that was what the roar of the crowd was all about. And the official just said, my bad. He just pointed in the wrong direction. Happens to the best of us. Arudia looking in. He finds Andino in the left corner. Dino 0 for 3 from long range. Have another tough shooting day as Demiak has learned how to defend him through years of practice. Bartley pull up jumper at the right elbow. Push it to the right. Rebound Copeland. Here come the Aggies. Get Copeland to Langley and Langley saunters into the front court. Sila right wing. Harris around the horn to Langley. Now Sila again, a handoff to Langley. Langley back to Harris, thought about the three. Instead of the shot fake, he steps into a three and buries. Terry Harris gave up the NBA range, got the defender to leap over him and nails from distance. 8 nothing run for the Aggies. They've gone up 44-38, 16-14 to play in the second half. And then Bartley from the big maroon M for the Hawks. As the Hawks need a bucket. They haven't scored in three plus minutes. Eight to shoot. Bartley to screen. Help on the left wing. Now it's Rudy. Accelerates the right baseline behind the back. A little pick pocketed by Ed Mead, but Ed Mead's call for the foul. And Ed Mead saying, whoa, 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 whoa. Officials say foul. And we've got a timeout. 15.35 to play in the second session. And he's pulled ahead. 44-38 over the Hawks on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. Hawks fans, improving reliability with new technology and upgrades is only part of Delmarva Power's commitment to customers. They're also helping customers save money and energy with tips, tools, and programs that can help everyone reduce monthly bills. Just visit delmarva.com slash everyone saves for more. That's delmarva.com slash everyone saves. Delmarva Power, proud sponsor of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. The Courtyard by Marriott on Route 13 in Southfield offer comfortable rooms and meeting spaces, as well as always superior customer service in a great location near the mall. Call 410-742-4405 and ask for details about their special Maryland Eastern Shore partner rates. The Courtyard by Marriott in Salisbury, an official partner of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics, and proud to bring you this broadcast of Hawks Basketball on sfmsports.net. This is Hawks Basketball from sfmsports.net. Net. Back at the Heights, 15.55 to go in the second half. North Carolina A&T on an 8 nothing run. They lead the Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks, 44-38. Ryan Arudia to inbound for Eastern Shore. It's into Bartley. Aaron Edby committed a foul during the last segment that brought us into the timeout. Bartley to Jones with 10 to shoot. Jones steps back and open three. Front iron, rebound ricochets. It's out of Silas' hands, and Andino there to chase it down. A fresh 30 for the Hawks. It's the one thing that hasn't gone right for Sila today. He was unable to grab the easy rebound. Here's a Rudy on the right channel. Dancing with Ed Mead. Jones, uh, Taylor comes out to set a screen. Rudia jabs in and out. And Dino, thinking about the D3 instead, flings it back for Rudia. Spins to his left. He's at the right elbow. Stripped by Ed Mead. Arudia gets it back, lays it up, and in. Brian Arudia catches a break. 44 to 40. Eastern Shore down. Five minutes gone by in the second half. Amari Hamilton's about to check back in for Blue. I would guess for Edney. Langley at the left wing. Pass deflected out of bounds. And he won three Hawks, got a hand on it. Now here comes Hamilton. That's number 15, Amari Hamilton. For somebody. No, it was uh, Langley. Langley, who's got the trainer coming over. Take a look at him, and he is not very happy. Holding his right leg. The trainer's looking at that. Five 
inside to shoot for the Aggies. Here's Copeland at the free throw line, trying to get separation from Andino. Lays it up and in. Oh, my. What a slithering move for Quay Copeland. Veers right, left, and right like it's a road course in IndyCar. 46 to 40. A&T on top. 14 change to go in the second half. Here's Andino on the left wing for the Hawks. Finds Arudia straight up. Feeds Zeke down low. Isaac Taylor makes the layup from the right side. Arudia with the assist. That's his fifth. Taylor with the bucket. 46 to 42. Aggies lead. 14.08 to go in the second half. This is Copeland on the left sideline for North Carolina A&T. Now it's Hamilton back to Copeland. Way Copeland skips it back for Hamilton. Left wing three, too strong. Oh, it got the bounce and in. Amari Hamilton clangs off the back of the iron, straight up and straight down. Lucky break for the redshirt senior. 49 to 42, a touchdowns lead for Blue. 13 and change to go. Bartley right sideline for the Hawks. One hand pass for Andino. Still looking for his first three of the game. And you don't get separation. Steps into it from the right wing, and he got it. Ryan Andino breaks the seal from deep. He's got five. 49 to 45. Shore down. 13-22 to go in the second half. Amari Hamilton, after his lucky three, holds the basketball for the Aggies. Laterals it back for Harris. Back to Hamilton on the right wing. Hamilton accelerates in right baseline. Float shot, two eye off the window. Zeke picks it up from the floor. Here come the Hawks. Arudia on the left wing. Shovels it back for Bartley. Bartley fakes hand handoff to Arudia. Bounces it to Andino again. To Jones in the backcourt. Back to Arudia. Down low for Zeke. Left baseline. Lays it up and in. Isaac Taylor with a mismatch. 6-8 over 6-1 Hamilton. An easy layup. Hawks back within two. 49-47 North Carolina A&T. 12 and a half to go in the second session. Here's Ed Mead left sideline for the Aggies. Copeland around the horn now to Hamilton. Overhand pump to Harris. Harris jumps into Copeland. Copeland double team to Hamilton. Skip down over Sila. Two handed jam. Ibrahim Sila with 19. 5147. Aggies lead. 12 and change to go in the second half. Sila is now 7 of 7 and 5 of 5 from the line. It's Cracker Jack Knight for the big man from Northern Colorado. Jones down low for Taylor and Isaac Taylor's call for the offense. It's a foul. Push town, Quay Copeland. That time the mismatch played into the Aggies advantage. First foul against Taylor, and he'll get a breather as Gabriel Jimphy checks in. Taylor's played for 15 minutes tonight. Most of any hawk. And for Taylor, who only played about 15 minutes a game in his last full season for Eastern Shore. The stamina is finally there for him. He's averaged 21 a game. Ed Mead left to right into the front court for the Aggies. Now it's Quay Copeland who drew that offensive foul. The last trip down. Ed Mead right channel, flicks it off for Hamilton straight up. Back to Harris, fake shot three, out to Ed Mead now straight away. Six to shoot, accelerates in, splits a couple defenders, lays it off the window, no good. Sila with the tip back, didn't go. Rebound for Jones and a foul called as Sila scrapping for the ball with Jones and it looks like Ed Mead is called for the infraction. That takes us into immediate timeout. 11.34 to play in the second half. North Carolina a and 51, Eastern Shore 47 on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. The Eastern Shore is a perfect place to visit year-round. A gem hidden on the lower shore is the Henson. Located in the heart of Princess Anne on the picturesque campus of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The Henson is the perfect choice for campus visits, business trips, reunions, meetings, and relaxing getaways. Check into the Henson and we'll take care of the rest. Book online at umes.edu slash Henson. Signs by Tomorrow is 
proud to be one of the founding companies of the one-day sign industry. Our services include banners, trade show displays, window and vehicle lettering, decals, name tags, logo reproduction, and real estate signs. We offer free estimates, design proposals, and on-site consultations. One-day service is available. Let us show you what we can do for you. Signs by Tomorrow. Call 410-860-0033 or visit signsbytomorrow.com. The flagship station for Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball is WTGM Salisbury, Delmarva's Fox Sports 960. 11.34 to play in the second half. North Carolina a and leads Maryland Eastern Shore 51-47. Will DeBoer with you on the Shore Sports Network. Top of the hour. Hawks trying to salvage the back end of their double header. The Eastern Shore women lost a nail biter to the Lady Aggies 51-49 earlier today. CeCe Byram in that game for the Hawks joined the 1,000-point club. She now stands at 1,000 points even. Rudia right to left into the front court for the Hawks. Bartley, Andino, Taylor, and Jones also on the floor. Bartley on the left wing. Flicks it for Jones, left elbow. Down low for Taylor. Turn around, left-handed hook shot. Didn't get the angle. Rebound for Sila. And here comes Hamilton into the front court for the Aggies. Amari Hamilton, the senior leader off the bench. In there for so much as the Aggies try and get themselves back into blue blood territory. Here's Copeland right baseline, marked by Andino, back up for Hamilton with six to shoot. Edmead now, double team. Edmead circles up right side paint, off the window, no. Silo offensive rebound, lays it back up and in. Abraham Silas got 21. That's a new A&T high for the big man. 53 to 47 Aggies, 10.35 to go. Jones in the right corner for the Hawks. Out to Bartley. Bartley accelerates the free throw line. No look out to Andino. Three ball left wing, rattles home. Ryan Andino from distance. He's got eight. 53 to 50. Hawks within one possession. 10-12 to go. Cameron Langley, the starting point guard, still on the bench for the Aggies as Sila underneath the basket. Hooks it home and he's fouled. Gracious. He hasn't missed a shot all day. Nine for nine. Five for five from the line. That's 23 points. Tyler Jones commits the foul. He's got two. And Gabriel Jimfee's back in. The pride of Denver South High School in Northern Colorado today. The free throw, nothing but net. Nine for nine, six for six from the line, 24 points for Sila. He's been a one-man wrecking crew. 56 to 50 a and 10 minutes even to go. We're halfway through the second half. Here's Bartley right sideline for the shore. Hamilton guarding fiercely. Bartley will try the right baseline underneath the basket, and he tiptoed out of bounds. Ran out of real estate. A&T basketball. Pushed into the ocean. The Hawks a bad turnover as Eastern Shore on a bit of a roll as it comes to shooting. They've made five of their last six. Sweat break in front of the Eastern Shore bench. And a substitution as Kanan Bartley's out. Amat Frost in. Personnel for the Aggies, Hamilton, Edmead, Copeland, Harris, and Silo. Hamilton will dance it over the timeline for A&T. Jumps it towards Copeland. Copeland out to the left corner. Harris, quick trigger three. Yes, sir. Terry Harris from the nine-point Aggie lead. That matches their largest. 59 to 50, nine and a half to play. Here's Andino on the left channel for the Hawks. Taylor calling for it straight away. He gets it. Hand off to Arudia on the right sideline. To Andino, turn around, desperation three, halfway down and out. Rebound for Harris. Most were going down for Andino, but no cigar. Hawks pressing, sensing the game, falling in A&T's favor. The one game they were really in in the MEAC season so far was against Morgan State nine days ago, and the Hawks fell apart in the final ten. Harris, an NBA range three. That rattles out, and a rebound for Taylor. Harris going for the haymaker from deep that time. The Hawks duck and dodge, and they'll try and jab themselves back. Arudia right sideline. Arudia trying to shake off Edney. Taylor sets the screen. 
Rudy accelerates in left side paint, draws the contact, nearly gets the layup to fall, but Rudy had done his job that time. A fouls against Ed Mead. Should be number one on him. Number, uh, three on him. Three on number one. And Rudy to the line. Brian, born in Mexico, grew up in El Paso. Star at Harmony Science Academy as he hits his first free throw. Played at Cochise College in Arizona. Committed to Nichols State verbally out of Juco before backing out and choosing the Hawks. Montrez Oliver is back in for Eastern Shore. Kanan Bartley as well. Malik Gantz checking in for Blue. Rudy, not the best free throw shooter, 59% from the line. And he makes them both that time. Now into the game for the short, Caden Bartley and Colin Gaynor. Colin Gaynor's in for the Hawks, too. 59 to 52. A and T leads, 8:40 to play. Copeland jumps it to Gantz over the timeline. He's trapped right in front of us, and a steal by Bartley. Caden Bartley stripped on the way up. Nice defense getting back by Copeland. That action a little too close to the very expensive laptops and broadcasting equipment we have set up on this table. And for the Aggies, number zero, Andre Jackson. Isaac Taylor checks in for the Hawks, and Andre Jackson's in for the Aggies. Bartley looking to inbound. Everybody's covered. Gain and get it in, man. Taylor, and now it's Oliver. They do get it in, and Kane and Bartley resets. Bartley, Oliver, Taylor, Jim Fee, and Frost for White. Bartley biding his time from the M. Zone defense for the Aggies. Ten to shoot. Bartley and Oliver play and catch with it. Oliver on the left wing. Skips it down low for Taylor. Turnaround shot. That's too strong off the backboard. And Jim Fee's tip. He missed the tip. And we got a jump ball as Jim Fee and Sila got tangled up. Going hard for it. Possession arrow pointing towards Eastern Shore. And... And a good word from the official there. That was some tempers running up, but that's only because of the hustle. Hustle between Bartley and Sila. And the officials are not gonna take any excessive whistles and whatnot. They're just gonna recognize hustle where it is. Still, Jim Fee, he was right there in front of the basket and was unable to make the tip back. Aggie basketball, that's where the uh, arrow was pointing. So it's Hamilton who dances into the front court to Jackson, now Hamilton again. Seven point Aggie lead. We'll have the under eight timeout at the next whistle. Screen from Sila. Hamilton, straight up, checks it to Jackson. Jackson right wing, guarded by Jim Fee. Feeds the beast, Sila, marked by Gaynor. Back up for Jackson. He's open with a three, halfway down and out. Rebound Gaynor. Hawks nearly gave up the three as they had the double team Sila down low. They found the open man, Jackson, who was unable to bury. Would have been a big three for the Aggies. Would have given them a 10-point lead for the first time. Offensive foul away from the basketball. An illegal screen by Ahmad Frost. Or no, it's Colin Gaynor with the illegal screen. And that takes us into the break. 7.24 to go in the second half. 59-52. to Aggies on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. In the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference, success for our student athletes isn't just measured by wins and losses, points on the scoreboard, or individual stats. It's also measured by their performance in the classroom, in the community, and ultimately graduation. Our student athletes aren't just playing to win a single game, they're playing to win at life. Because games end, but life keeps on going. The MIAC, educating student athletes for the game of life. Your docs and urgent care has you covered. From physicals to flu shots, pediatrics to pneumonia, strep throat to stitches, whether you're on vacation or on your way to work, they accept most insurance and offer affordable self-pay options. Use Clockwise Online, call or just stop by. Your docs in has been named the best urgent care for four years in a row. Your docs in urgent care with six convenient locations to serve you on Maryland's Eastern Shore, whether you live here or you're just traveling through. This is Hawks Basketball from S. SFMSports.net. 7.24 to go in the second half. 59-52, North Carolina a t leads Maryland Eastern Shore. Up 
update from Cameron Indoor Stadium. Looks like we've got overtime between Duke and Syracuse. The team's tied 85-85. Tyus Battle with 30 points for the Orange. Zion Williamson, 35 and 10 points and rebounds for Mike Krzyzewski. Aggie basketball, here's Copeland. Right seam guarded by Jim Fee, one of these wing players. Copeland, screen coming from Sila. Copeland scoops a pass to Jackson. Left elbow accelerates in and it's kicked out of bounds. Off a white jersey. Possession staying with the Aggies and the clock should reset, reset the toe. We'll try that again. The clock should reset to 20. Isaac Taylor in, Colin Gaynor out for the Hawks. And the clock does reset to 20. 7.04 remaining. Inbounds to Sila, who's got 24 tonight. 24 points, seven rebounds, three assists, three blocks. Three ball left corner from Edmead, a little strong. Rebound chased down by Frost. And Eastern Shore holds on defense. A&T shooting 54%. Great numbers, but they've cooled off from the 63% clip from Delaware State. Cross pass too tall for Taylor, and it's intercepted by Copeland. Aggie basketball. Hamilton saunters left to right into the front court. This is Copeland right sideline. Copeland looking for Sila. Taylor's all over him. Cross court to Hamilton in front of the Aggie bench. Tend to shoot. Hamilton slithers in, running floater short. Sila put back dunk and he missed, and that's the first miss of the night for Ibrahim Sila. Almost brought the roof off this place. And a timeout taken by Cliff Ree as Tannen Bartley dribbles it into the front court. 6.09 to play. This should become the unscheduled media timeout. Waiting for the word from the official. 30 second timeout, and we're just going to stay with the 30. 6.09 to play, 59 to 52, North Carolina AT. Well, it took what would have been a tremendous put back 10th degree of difficulty dunk for Ibrahim Sila to break up his perfect night. 9 for 10 shooting now, 24 points, 8 rebounds. Sila having a career night for the Aggies, and he's a couple of rebounds away from his first A&T double-double. Hawk basketball, Arudia, Andino, Taylor, Oliver, and Jones on the floor. And it's Arudia who will trigger the inbound, guarded by Edney. Flicks it into Oliver, who hands it right back to Arudia. Coming up on six minutes to play, a seven-point Hawk deficit. Arudia dancing with Ed Mead on the left wing. Now he centers back up again, resets, tend to shoot. Screen from Taylor, Arudia bobs in, kicks it to Oliver, right corner three, skims the rim short, rebound saved in by Sila, nobody's there. No, it's Hamilton who's there for it. Amari Hamilton came swooping out of nowhere to grab that ball that was flicked in by Sila. Now Terry Harris a little bit gimpy as he trots up court, and Hamilton's into the front court. Jay Joyner will call a timeout. Or timeout is called an injury timeout for Terry Harris, who is standing in the middle of the court right now, and the trainer for a and comes out to have a look at him. 5.35 to go in the second half. Still 59-52 Aggies. Harris favoring that like left angle. Aggie basketball as both teams have gone a little bit cold. The visitors haven't scored in four minutes. The Hawks haven't scored in three. Last home game of the month for Maryland Eastern Shore. Next weekend, they'll be down in Florida for a pair. Florida A&M on Saturday and Bethune-Cookman on Monday. The weekend after that, it's a couple close road trips, Norfolk State and Howard. We'll be back in this building on Saturday, February 2nd, to host South Carolina State. That Monday will be, I believe, Savannah State coming to town for their final regular season meeting before reclassifying to Division II next year. Inbound coming from Copeland. 
Ronald Jackson checked in for the injured Harris. Here's Edme, Hamilton, NBA range, three on the left wing, rims out, rebound tipped and controlled by Jim Fee for the Hawks. And here comes Eastern Shore. Arudia sees daylight on the right seam. It's cut off by Copeland. Back up for Jones. Thought about the three, traveled. Heard footsteps from Sila, and Tyler Jones gave up what would have been not the easiest three, but a makeable one, certainly, and instead the Hawks give it away. Subs for Eastern Shore, Frost and uh, Gaynor in. Oliver and Andino out. 5.15 to go. We've been at a standstill. 59 to 52, North Carolina a &T. Here's Ed Mead from the big M. Aggie basketball. Dribbling towards the left sideline, letting the blue jerseys form in front of him. Silence at the screen. Ed Mead kicks it to Ronald Jackson on the left wing. Around the horn to Copeland. Copeland with 10 to shoot, staring down Gaynor. Copeland steps in, pass through the wickets. Upper wickets of Jackson, rather, as through his hands and out of bounds. Hawk basketball. Another empty possession. Tyler Jones and Ryan and Dino back in, as well as Montrez Oliver for the Hawks, as Cliff Reed's playing the offensive versus defensive shifts for the moment. Oliver, right to left, sprints into the front court, hands it off for Arudia. Arudia to Andino, right channel. Bounce pass to Arudia, fakes inside, staring down at Mead. And a whistle away from the basketball. Looks like Jim Fee got tangled up with Sila. Or no, it's Copeland. Copeland who's called for the foul. First against Copeland, fifth against the Aggies. Hawks have five as well, so each team with still one foul to give. No points scored by either side in four plus minutes. Hawks trying to bust up that trend. Clock resets to 20. No look inbound to Oliver on the right wing. Down low for Taylor. Zeke turn around left handed hook shot. Yes. Isaac Taylor, Isaac Taylor over Sila. And finally, somebody has scored. 59 to 54. Eastern Shore trails with 420 remaining. Copeland hands off to Ed Mead on the left sideline for A&T. Now Hamilton to Copeland, who's up on the right corner, steps back for three. Halfway down and out, Arudia chases down the board. Here come the Hawks. It's Arudia into the front court. Left elbow stops. Back at the Jones. Jones for three. Hooks to the left. Rebound ricochets out of bounds. North Carolina A&T basketball when we come back. 59 to 54, Aggies. 3.57 to go on the Shore Sports Network and SF. Sports.net. Pivot Physical Therapy is the leading provider of physical therapy and sports medicine services in the Mid-Atlantic region with over 270 clinic locations and providing sports medicine services to over 120 youth, scholastic, collegiate, and professional programs. Pivot Physical Therapy is in your backyard with locations in Salisbury, Berlin, Cambridge, Easton, and Seaford. Pivot Physical Therapy and Pivot Sports Medicine is a proud partner of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore, providing athletic training and physical therapy care to your Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks. Signs by Tomorrow is proud to be one of the founding companies of the one-day sign industry. Our services include banners, trade show displays, window and vehicle lettering, decals, name tags, logo reproduction, and real estate signs. We offer free estimates, design proposals, and on-site consultations. One-day service is available. Let us show you what we can do for you. Signs by Tomorrow. Call 410-860-0033 or visit signsbytomorrow.com. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball from sfmsports.net. Down the stretch we come. 3.57 to play from the Heights Center. North Carolina A&T 59, Maryland Eastern Shore 54. The Aggies on a long scoring drought. Six minutes without a bucket. Carolina A&T trying to climb back to their blue blood status. They've won 16 MEAC tournament championships. That's the most in league history. Most recently, 2013 as a seven seed. In fact, Maryland Eastern Shore's most successful year, 1974, broke up the Aggie dynasty. They won the MEAC double crown in 74. The Aggies won the two before that and the two after. 
Aggie basketball. Now it's Copeland left sideline. Pinballs it down for Sila, who's been unstoppable. Out to Jackson for three. Jackson three rattles out. And Gaynor elevates for the board. Six minutes plus without a basket for the Aggies. Hawks can try and take advantage. It's Gaynor down low, low on a block. Was that Gantz? No, it was Jackson. That was Ronald Jackson with the hops on the right baseline, slamming it off the glass and denying Gaynor the layup. Hamilton, right wing for the Aggies. We're coming up on three to play. Time on the side of the blue shirts. Copeland scoops it out for Jackson. Back to Hamilton with six to shoot. Hamilton, tough shot. Right wing, yes. It's a long two. Amari Hamilton, his toe was in the line. And that breaks up a long drought for the Aggies. 61-54 A&T. Timeout for the three with 2.49 to play. This is a full timeout, so we'll step aside. 2.49 to go, 61-54 Aggies on the Shore Sports Network and sfmsports.net. Hawks fans, improving reliability with new technology and upgrades is only part of Delmarva Power's commitment to customers. They're also helping customers save money and energy with tips, tools, and programs that can help everyone reduce monthly bills. Just visit delmarva.com slash everyone saves for more. That's delmarva.com slash everyone saves. Delmarva Power, proud sponsor of Maryland Eastern Shore Athletics. The Eastern Shore is a perfect place to visit year-round. A gem hidden on the lower shore is the Henson. Located in the heart of Princess Anne on the picturesque campus of the University of Maryland Eastern Shore. The Henson is the perfect choice for campus visits, business trips, reunions, meetings, and relaxing getaways. Check into the Henson and we'll take care of the rest. Book online at umes.edu slash Henson. This is Hawks Basketball. From sfmsports.net. Yep, it's still great. 2.49 to go in the second half. North Carolina a and 61, Maryland Eastern Shore 54, and they check to see Hamilton's shot on the right wing, and it was a two. But with the smallest mark as you can imagine, it was an overgrown toenail, essentially, that allowed that basket to be a two instead of a three. Will that come into play for the Hawks late? Down seven with under three to go. Eastern Shore basketball. It's Arudia backing down Ed Mead in the backcourt. Arudia looking for Andino. Andino smothered by Copeland. Dino trying to get separation. It's to Jones. Skips it down low. Intercepted. And who else? Sila got a hand on it. Blue basketball. Hamilton sprints into the front court and slows down from there. And the Aggies with a three possession lead can just let this thing wind down as much as possible. Jackson to Ed Mead on the left sideline, 10 to shoot. Silas sets the screen for Ed Mead. Ed Mead slithering in, five to shoot. Out to Hamilton. Hamilton catch and shoot three, two strong rebound. Oliver. Two minutes to go. Here's Arudia for the Hawks. Accelerates around Ed Mead. Right baseline, the hook shot, well short. Sila with a rebound and he's fouled. Rebound number nine for Sila. Short foul number 13, Brian. Fouls against Brian Arudia. That's number six against the Hawks. Free throws the rest of the way for the Aggies. And the defensive lineup in for Eastern Shore. We'll just give you the full personnel. Frost, Bartley, Gaynor, Jimphy, and Arudia. For the Aggies, it's Copeland, Hamilton, Sila, Terry Harris, whose leg appears to be okay, and Ed Mead. 157 remaining, seven-point Aggie lead. Here's Hamilton, trying to dance around Jim Fee into the front court. Hamilton accelerates to the right wing. He's trapped, hooks it for Ed Mead deep on the left wing, and he'll slow it down, pump the brakes. 100 seconds to go. Copeland holds the basketball, dribbles to the right wing. Copeland sees daylight left side, blocked by Jim Fee. And Sila got the rebound, though. The shot clock reset, even though it should not have, as that shot didn't look like it hit the rebound. The, uh, 
uh, rim at all. In any case, the rebound for Sila gives him 10, and that's a double-double for Ibrahim Sila. 24 points and 10 rebounds. What a day. The officials will take a look at that clock to see if it should have reset. I didn't think it should have. The question is twofold. Should the clock have reset? And uh, they didn't hit the rim. Did the Hawks possess the basketball going the other way before a and got it back? And the answer appears to be no. Hawks did not possess. And that clock stands at six seconds for the Aggies. North Carolina a and trying to limp this one home. They're one for their last 11 shooting the basketball. The Hawks, meanwhile, are one for their last eight. So that great shooting day for both teams has gone up in smoke. Now the clock's all figured out now and with 90 seconds to go, the Aggies will inbound. They'll have just six to shoot. Check that, 133, they add three seconds back onto the clock. And with that, North Carolina a and takes a timeout to talk this thing over. If they would have talked it over earlier. Seven point A&T lead, 61 to 44, uh, 54, 133 to go. Jay Joyner, fourth year boss of the Aggies. Finished that interim year five and four in 2016 MEAC play. And the full-time head coach just before their tournament game that year. 3 and 29 and 2016 17. Their one MEAC win was the final one of the season against NC Central, who won the double crown that season. Life's funny that way, isn't it? He's been the associate head coach at ANT since 2012. And in that first season, 12 13, they won the MEAC tournament championship and won their first ever NCAA tournament game. They beat Liberty in the first four. 16-16 matchup. Inbound is to Harris. Now it's Edmead. 4-3. Edmead fakes. Accelerates in and he's fouled. He is fouled with one on the shot clock. Aaron Edmead. Turbo boost in. Fouls against Gabriel Jimphy. Seventh foul against the Aggie, the uh, Hawks, but that's a two-shot foul nevertheless. And Aaron Edmead's headed to the line. At the line shooting two for the Aggies, number one, Aaron Edmead. Ed Mead having a pretty good game himself. Eight points. Make it still eight as he shanks it short. Nothing's falling for the Aggies right now. Mass subs. Taylor and Jones and Andino in for the Hawks. Bartley and Jimphy and Gaynor out. It's that defense and offense line for Cliff Reed. Edmead's second free throw rolls in. So nine for Edmead. 62 to 54. Eastern Shore down. 123 to go. Here's Arudia on the left wing. Guarded by Hamilton. Hawks need a good look right here. Jones free throw line. Fakes a spin. Step back 10 foot jumper. Halfway down. Out. Balls on the floor. Scrum for the rebound. It's Jackson. Ronald Jackson. Jump ball. Jackson hugged it against his body and had no wiggle room to sig uh, get up and signal for the tee. The arrow points towards Eastern Shore. Full possession and full reset. So the Hawks will have 30, not that they'll need to use all 30. And Dino's covered on the inbound. It's floated into Taylor at the free throw line. Zeke skipped it to Arudia. Thought about the three. Instead, jumps it out to Andino. Straight away for three. Clang. Front iron. One minute, one minute remaining. Rebound to Hamilton. One minute left. Aggie basketball. This is Copeland zigzagging into the front court for Sila. Sila was fouled on the way up for what would have been a thunderous dunk. Isaac Taylor got in the way that time, did all he could to deny Sila the chance to show up on a poster. Sila today making his case for MEAC Player of the Week. Had nine and six two days ago. Today, he's got 24 and 10. Nine of 10 shooting, 6 of 6 from the line. First free throw is in. A remarkable day for Ibrahim Sila, who has fought back from so much, playing with hyperthropic cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy. He is healthy, and that—that that is 
first free throw miss. Seven for eight from the line. 25 for him. 63-54, Eastern Shore down. And Dino picks it up off the floor. Now it's Arudia, left corner for three, air ball. Frost chases down the rebound inside for Taylor. Taylor double team falling down and he's fouled. That's the sixth foul against the Aggies in this half. Looked like Ronald Jackson tripped him. Nine point Aggie lead, 33 seconds to go, and it's getting into Lloyd Christmas territory for the Hawks as Cliff Reed calls a timeout. What is Lloyd Christmas territory, you may ask? Well, remember the famous line from that movie, Dumb and Dumber. So you're telling me there's a chance. And yes, there is. But with each second that ticks off, it increasingly goes down for the Hawks, the likelihood of winning this game. They had not scored in their last four minutes and are one for their last 11 shooting. Of course, the Aggies are also one for their last 11. This thing is just grinding to a halt like somebody pulled the emergency brake. Timeout is over. And the Hawks will inbound. Need a quick bucket and a steal. And another quick bucket and another steal and another quick bucket. Not impossible, but very tough. Inbound is a Jones. TJ accelerates in. Blocked by Sila. Taylor comes down with it. Floats one over Sila and lays it in. Fourth block of the game for Sila. He couldn't get a fifth. 63 to 56. Hail Mary pass up to Hamilton who controls. And he's hugged by Arudia in the front court with 23.6 seconds remaining. One and one coming up for Amari Hamilton. Southern Durham High School in Durham, North Carolina. Number 15, Amari Hamilton. Went just an hour away to Greensboro. He's been a rock for Jay Joyner through a rocky start to his tenure, but the Aggies have righted the ship, certainly. Free throw rattles home. The Aggies with a win would improve to 8-9 and nine overall when they're fourth straight and improve to 3-0 and oh in the MEAC. Second free throw tickles the twine. 65-56. Montrez Oliver in, Isaac Taylor out as the Hawks with their three-point lineup. Everybody on the floor is at least capable of chucking one up. Inbound to Frost, now it's Arudia, sprinting. Here's Frost, Frost jumps it to Arudia. Arudia up to Oliver. Oliver fakes, dribble drives in, lays it up, missed the layup, rebound controlled by Copeland. With 10 seconds left, Copeland fouled by either Andino or Jones. And this should all but put this thing on ice. Aggies make a free throw in the lead by double digits for the first time. Fouls on Andino, and it's Copeland to the line. Way Copeland with a chance to get 10 points himself today. Hawks would fall to 2 and 17 with a loss here, 0 and 4 in league play before hitting the road for Florida as Copeland hits the first free throw to make it a six point game. Bartley in, Frost out. And the Hawks. Struggles continue. This will be their 18th consecutive Division I loss. Second free throw rolls home, 67 to 56. Seven seconds remaining. Here's Bartley into the front court. Bartley right baseline with the easy layup and in. That'll cut it to single digits, and that is all she wrote. 67-58, North Carolina A&T survives a cold spell at the end. They freeze out Maryland Eastern Shore equally over those final 10 minutes. And the Hawks will have to wait at least another game for their first MEAC win of the season. 3-0 in conference play the Aggies, 0-4 the Hawks in league play. Jay Joyner is coming over, the head coach of North Carolina a and to have a word. Shaking hands with Spencer Durkin and Cliff Reed. Does he see us? I don't believe he sees us, and he is uh, walking off the court. And here he comes. Always helps to hold up the headset if you... Uh, if you need to do that, make yourself look like the Statue of Liberty, someone will usually see. And here is Cliff Reed right now. Now, Coach, uh, close one that A&T pulled away uh, at the end of that one. Your thoughts on this game? Uh, just, uh, I applaud the 
guys are really playing hard, coming out being spirited and uh, doing a good job. But I got to um, commend uh, A&T for uh, fighting us off early and, and um, fighting us off late. But uh, I like the effort and the energy that the guys play with. We just got to convert a little bit better. The easy opportunities, we don't have to convert, um, you know, uh, Mungan type uh, situation. We just got to convert the easy ones, and then we'll be fine. Uh, defense shut out pretty much uh, everybody but one on the North Carolina A&T roster, but there was no answer for Ibrahim Sila, who went for 25 and 10. Uh, it's tough when there's a big download that can't be stopped, especially in this league. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was part of the game plan. Uh, the, the guards are the scores, and he's not even a uh, factor. So when you get beat, you want to get beat by, uh, you know, not the one or two or three options. So it, it, that's the game plan. Uh, um, Coach Custis um, had a really good game plan. It was his scout. So that's the way you want to play. You want to make the uh, least likely person who eats your beach, and he, he actually did that. So that's okay. There's an explosive start for the Hawks, especially in the first half. Uh, Brian Arudia brought a lot of energy, and he did a bit of scoring today. Ten points, nine rebounds, six assists. So uh, you, you see a guy stuff a stat sheet like that, and that's a good overall day. He had, he had, a, good, he had a really good day, but uh, we just got to get a little bit more. We got to get a little bit better. Uh, maybe he needed to have 17 as opposed to 10. So uh, we just going to keep working and keep fighting. And then uh, they, they're getting better. That's the uh, important part of it. they jailing. Uh, we've got guys that, you know, just 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 getting acclimated to us, only play six and seven games or seven and eight games. So uh, as time go on, we'll we'll jail a little bit more. we got the Florida doubleheader coming up uh, this next weekend, Florida A&M on Saturday, but Thune Cookman on Monday. Doesn't get e any easier, and it's uh, back on the road again. Absolutely. Uh, Fam, you is um, really tough and hard nose. Uh, I watched um, another team play that we were playing earlier, and they played FAMU. And uh, they're really tough. They're really hard nose. They play really uh, disciplined, well coached. And then Bethune probably is the most talented team in the league. So uh, we definitely got our hands more than full. I appreciate it, Coach. We'll see you down in Florida. Thank you, Will. Cliff Reed, head coach of Hawk men's basketball, Eastern Shore, hanging tough with North Carolina A&T, but uh, unable to get over the hump. The Aggies win 67 to 58. Take a break, come back, final stats, out of town scores, see what happened in uh, Duke, the overtime game, the top rated team in the country against Syracuse, and we'll set you up for the Sunshine State on Saturday. All that and much more on the postgame show. Next, final score from the Heights Center, the North Carolina A&T Aggies, 67, the Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks, 58. Post game next, Shore Sports Network, sfmsports.net. Do you need a break, a getaway? Plan a visit to Hyatt Place Dewey Beach in Delaware. Lay back, relax with your toes in the sand, and unwind to the sounds of the ocean. Please your palate with a delicious meal at Cape Hassa Restaurant on the Bay while taking in the sights of a beautiful sunset. It's time to get away and make that getaway to the Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. Call 302-864-9100 or visit HyattPlaceDeweyBeach.com. Make a lifetime of memories in your own backyard at Hyatt Place Dewey Beach. That's Hyatt Place Dewey Beach on Facebook and Instagram. Training is about more than money. Muscle. It's about in strength. So I push myself. That's why I serve in the United States Coast Guard. I train with the best. A team that shares my drive and commitment. We collect intelligence, guard our shores against drug smugglers, and keep our waterways safe. Because our nation expects more. Discover a future that exceeds your expectations. Learn more at GoCoastGuard.com. This is Maryland Eastern Shore Basketball, powered by SFMSports.net. Now, the post-game show. And we welcome you inside the Shore post-game show, courtside from the Heights Center in Princess Anne, where the Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks have suffered a 67-58 defeat at the hands of North Carolina A&T State Aggies. Will the board with you on the Shore Sports Network, and uh, certainly a more upbeat uh, Cliff Reed than uh, as ex than we have been getting from him in post-game interviews. Uh, certainly, it was a better played game for Maryland Eastern Shore. For about 30 minutes, they were in it with the Aggies, and then.
then they went on a cold spell late. Aggies went on their own cold spell, so if the Hawks stay hot, maybe they got a chance to turn this game around, but instead they'll uh, settle for a single point loss. Uh, certainly the competitive game they've been in the MEAC this season. Hawks fall to 2-17 overall, 0-3 oh, in conference play. North Carolina A&T improving to 8-9 and 3-0 and oh in the league. Shooting stats, the Hawks shot 24 of 60 from the floor. That's 40% even. 6 of 20 from long range. 4 for 4 from the free throw line. As North Carolina A&T owned the interior, as you'll see. 23 of 49 shooting were the Aggies. 47%. Uh, 4 of 18 from distance. 17 of 21 from the charity stripe. So not only did the Aggies have 17 more free throw attempts, they made all but 4 of them. A great shooting day at the stripe for the Aggies. Aggies. The leading scorer for the Hawks was Tyler Jones. He had 11 points, all of them in the first half. 4-14 shooting as the Aggies really shut him down in the second session. 10 for Isaac Taylor, 10 for Brian Arudia, and Arudia with 10 points, 9 rebounds, and 6 assists. A nice well-rounded day for the Hawks floor general. 7 for Kanan Bartley, 8 for Ryan Andino off the bench as he had a couple of open threes. Ahmad Frost with 6, Gabriel Jimphy with 6, and then Colin Gaynor and Montrez Oliver were scoreless. Star of the game for the Aggies was their fourth option. It was Ibrahim Sila playing like a number one down low. 25 points and 10 rebounds to go along with three assists and four blocks. What a game for Sila. He was 9 of 10 shooting from the floor, 7 of 8 from the free throw line. One of the most dominant big man performances the Hawks have seen against him in many a year. And it belonged to Ibrahim Sila, a young man who has gone through so much with the heart condition out in Colorado, coming home or coming to Greensboro for his final year of college ball and coming alive with a game that he will never forget. So kudos to him, Ibrahim Sila, uh, player of the game. Other scorers, 11 for Terry Harris, 11 for Quay Copeland, 9 for Aaron Edmead, 7 for Amari Hamilton, 2 each for Cameron Langley and Ronald Jackson, and then Malik Gantz, Andre Jackson, and Tyrone Lyons were scoreless. Rebounding-wise, the Hawks win the rebounding battle, a rare victory for Eastern Shore on the glass, 34-31, including 10-5 on the offensive end. Assists, 14 to 13 for Eastern Shore. Six helpers for Brian Arudia, who ups his average. A clean game as far as turnovers go. The Aggies gave it up just 10 times. The Hawks with 12 turnovers. Blocks, 5 to 4 Aggies. Steals, also 5 to 4 Aggies. North Carolina A&T won the paint battle 32 to 28. Points off turnovers, the Aggies also took it 14 to 11. Second chance points 10 to 4 for Eastern Shore. Fast break points 4 to 2 for the Hawks. Bench points 18-14 for the Aggies. Four ties and seven lead changes. The Aggies controlled for much of the second half and eventually froze out the Hawks late to win comfortably 67 to 58. Let's take a look at the MEAC scoreboard, shall we? Getting towards the end of the night around the Mid-Eastern Athletic Conference. One game final from up in Baltimore. South Carolina State with a 70 to 68 road win over Coppin State. 35 seconds to go in Delaware State. North Carolina Central getting all they can handle from the Hornets. Central leads 68 to 64. And under four minutes to play from Norfolk State. Spartan 62, Bethune-Cookman 51. This is the preseason favorites in the Miak on the verge of falling to one and two to begin the conference schedule. Howard and Morgan State play tomorrow as the Bears visit the Howard. Hmm, pardon me, Howard Bison at uh, 7:30 of the men's game for their doubleheader, which is pushed back due to snow. That's at Burr Gymnasium in Washington D.C. And a final from Cameron Indoor Stadium. We will have a new number one in college basketball next week. Top-ranked Duke knocked off by Syracuse, 95-91 in overtime. Jim Behind getting the best of Mike Krzyzewski at Cameron Indoor tonight. And with that, we've come to the end of another exciting doubleheader on this network. Our thanks to Steve Clendenin, our producer back home. The Hawks unable to pick up a win against North Carolina A&T women or men. Some highlights for both teams. And congratulations once again to C.C. Byram, the uh, Hawk.
basketball senior point guard who joined the 1,000 point club tonight with 13 points to get her to 1,000 even. Our next broadcast will be Saturday afternoon from the Sunshine State. It's capital, in fact, Tallahassee, Florida, and the Hawks take on the Rattlers of Florida A&M University. Women's game scheduled for 2 o'clock. We'll have the pregame show at 1.50 on sfmsports.net, online exclusively. The men's game will start at approximately 4 o'clock. In all actuality, it will be closer to 4.30. We'll have the pregame show 15 minutes prior on the SFM and on our flagship station, Fox Sports 960 in Salisbury. Quick shout-out to Kenny Kelly, or one of our producers at uh, Fox Sports. He's celebrating a birthday today, so happy birthday to you, Mr. Kenny, if you're there. Until then, on behalf of all of us here from the Heitch Athletic Center, this is Will DeBoer saying so long and a pleasant good evening to you from the eastern shore of Maryland. Your final score once again, the North Carolina A&T Aggies 67, the Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks 58. This has been Hawk Basketball on the Shore Sports Network and SFMSports.net. This has been a presentation of Hawks Basketball from SFMSports.net.